Greetings folks. This video is in response to a viewer request from a chap called Mark Frank. Thanks for the question, Mark. It really caught my interest. Mark uh, is talking about his DLG. He wants to be able to use the throttle stick for both flaps and spoilerons, uh, flicking between the two with a two position switch, and he doesn't want the throttle stick to be in the middle uh, for the neutral position. He wants it to be down at minus 100. Uh, he also uses a slider for the throttle. So this is how I worked out to do it. There are two uh, reasonably easy ways to do it. One using weights and offset on the throttle lever. The other one is using a custom curve. Uh, the better one, in my opinion, is using the custom curve because then you can have a dead band down the bottom of the uh, throttle movement so that you don't accidentally add a little bit of uh, flapper on if you bump the throttle lever. Um, so I'll show you the curves and the offset methods. I'll demonstrate on my little drift here because it's nice and small and can fit it in the frame. And it's on the Radio Master TX16S. Let's go in close. So let's just go through that step by step now. Channel one, we want the aileron. We do have the aileron that's going in the wrong direction. Right aileron is going in the wrong direction, so I'll change that to negative 100 weight. Right aileron's going in the correct direction. Copying that line down to the left aileron or channel two. Now the ailerons are working in the correct direction. Okay, so now we need to add the throttle action for flaps and spoiler on. So all I'm going to do is copy that line down and then edit that second line and change the aileron to the throttle. Now you can see the throttle is operating the aileron as well as the aileron stick. Throttle stick there. First thing we can do, the simple one, is to reduce the, this is just using weights and offset, reduce the throw to 50. You can come up with your own uh, weights and throws for this and now we need to do an offset of 50 as well to bring the control surface back to uh, zero. So now we have the aileron lifting up using the throttle stick. So now we want to assign a switch to that and two position switch. Let's go for the this one up here. Uh, SF. So SF down will initiate the spoiler on action and let's do the flap action now same thing basically want it to move in the opposite direction so we'll change that weight to 50 offset to 50 and the switch position to F switch up so now we can see with the F switch back position, we have flapperons, F switch forward, we have spoilerons. Uh, so now we just copy that over to the other aileron and of course you don't have to have 50%, you can have 30% plus 30% expo, whatever you need. You just reverse the switch positions. So now we have F switch back and we have flapper ons and still have aileron function. F switch forward, we have spoiler ons, still have aileron function. So that's using weights and offsets to achieve flapper ons and spoiler ons on a switch. Now I think a better way to do it is to use a curve instead of a weight and an offset. Setting up the curve, we give it the name. I think I had flap or FLP. Choose custom rather than standard. Then you can move the points up and down and left and right. Three point. Uh, the middle point we want to move back to minus 50, like that. Point 0.1 we keep it on 0, point 0.2 we keep on 0, point 0.3 we go up to 100. Simple as that. 
that gives a bit of dead band in the lower part of the throttle movement and then normal linear movement from uh, neutral up to full deflection. All right, so let's start again. Just give us a line to edit. Source again is the throttle, except that now we go for uh, the custom curve that we created. Curve flap, there we go. And you can see I'm moving the, the throttle a little bit in that lower 25%, but the uh, flapper on or spoiler on isn't moving. So that's just a little safety feature. In case you bump the throttle up a little bit, you don't want any movement of the uh, aileron. And spoiler on, we want F switch forward. Copy that again, edit that. Wait 100% instead of negative 100%. You just have to play with these to get things working in the right direction. And switch in the back position. Let's try that now. So flaps, spoilers with a little bit of dead band at the bottom 25%. So that, that's working well. So we'll copy that back down to the other one now. And again, we will uh, reverse the switch positions. So now, flapperons with a dead band and aileron function, spoilerons with a dead band and aileron function. So there you go, that's how I would do it, that's the simple way. And of course you don't have to use 100%, you can use whatever weights you think is appropriate for your craft. You would also probably want to, in the flapperon position, add a little bit of compensation with the elevator to stop it from pitching up as well. Now Mark also has the throttle on uh, a slider instead of uh, the throttle lever, so let's set that up as well. Channel 3 and left slider. And I think I have a, yes, I have a throttle cut switch there, so now we're throttling up with the slider instead of the throttle lever. So that's basically how you set up flapperons or spoilerons changed by a switch and having the throttle on a slider. Thanks for watching.